Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a Walmart and Amazon try on haul to share with y'all. I found lots of cute finds recently, so I'm excited to jump in. If you are shopping any of these pieces or if you wanna learn more, I will have them all linked in the description box down below. And I'll also include some new arrival roundups. I do a lot of new arrivals and share lots of new finds over in the Like to Know It app. And I will link some of those recent ones down below as well as any really great like cyber sales that I see happening early. I will also include those too. So hope you guys enjoy today's outfits and let's get started. All right, hopping in before we get into the video because I just realized when this video goes live, I'm pretty sure the cyber sales to both Walmart and Amazon will be starting. So I think today, the day this video goes up, Walmart is starting their deals for days which is like kind of their cyber sale and there's so many great things i got to preview the sale so i will link to some of the deals down below and then i also got to preview amazon's black friday deals so i will link to some goodies that will be popping in and out of sale throughout the weekend for y'all to have a little heads up on so definitely check out the description for more info on those cyber sales and I also plan to share a couple of the Amazon Prime deals on Friday for my Black Friday try on haul. So stay tuned for that as well. If you are wanting to see some of the pieces that I link to, I should be featuring those in Friday's video. All right, this sequin dress has already sold out twice, but I did want to include it because they have been restocking. And it's a beautiful rose gold and silver. It is lined on the inside, so it is nice and comfortable, not scratchy. It has a really pretty flow to it. I am wearing my normal size small. I love the tunic neckline. It has like a probably like polyester kind of silk lining to it. And um, I do like the scrunch in the arms as well. So this is very like flowy but still figure flattering. Kind of has an A-lined shape. And they have a couple different silhouettes to this. There's also a midi length version as well. So not sure if this one is in stock, but hopefully they will restock it soon. I know y'all like when I share things that I don't necessarily love, just in case you're looking at them. So this like kind of glittery skirt I found very uncomfortable. It's kind of scratchy on the inside with the paneling. I just found it overstimulating. But I also got an extra small, but it is very, very stretchy. So with some shapewear, this would look fine, but I just didn't find it comfortable. I shared these booties over on my Instagram and I actually think they already sold out in a lot of sizes, but again, I think they will restock these since it is really early on in the season. And they also have a very similar pair as well that I'll link. Um, but these are so cute. They're actually very flattering on the foot too. They make your foot look a little bit smaller and they are very comfortable, but I do recommend sizing up a half size. With this type of boot, for one, I typically wear like thicker cozy socks and I found my normal size to be just a little bit too snug. I know this would be an outfit that I would wear out and people would ask like where it's from and I would like happily <laughs> tell them that it's from Walmart and they would be in shock. Um, this sweater is so good. I hope it's still in stock. It reminds me a lot of the Free People like knit sweater that I have. It's almost the exact same silhouette honestly fits better in the arms than that one. And I love all of the cable knit details to it. Has a mock neck, but it is very loose, like it was easy to get on over my head. And I love the overall fit. I'm wearing a size small. I would say get your normal size. I sometimes like to size up in sweaters to have a little bit of slouch, but this one has the perfect amount. And then this leopard midi skirt, I honestly would be shocked if it's in stock. I shared this, I think, two Walmart hauls ago, but I know I can find something similar if it's not in stock. I'll go ahead and link it just in case it does restock. And then I paired it with these gorgeous leather um, knee-high boots. These are honestly very stunning. They're definitely a little pricier than I was wanting to spend, but I think they are honestly very much worth it. The color is gorgeous. They do run true to size. Also, if you're wondering how to tuck sweaters into skirts, definitely check out my recent fall fashion hacks video. I go into a bunch of different ways and techniques that you can kind of get that look and it's a lot easier than you may think. So I will link that video here if you want to check it out next. 
All right, so last year I shared a pair of sweater lounge pants from Express, and they were such like a hot buy, and they sold out so quickly. These are honestly almost identical. They come in a bunch of different colors. Um, they are meant to be cropped. I feel like on me they're almost like an awkward length. I feel like if you're petite, you could wear these as a pant, and if you're a little bit taller, they would be more cropped. But on me, they're hitting about an, an inch above my ankle but nonetheless they are very comfortable um, and they're not like too hot either like sometimes thick loungewear I can get like a little claustrophobic in it but these actually feel very light and loose and they're very stretchy you can see the material there um, I did size up to a medium in these I believe I'll double check and put my sizing down below and then this pink top is so cute. I love the little detail right here. It has a little bit of texture. Um, and I think this comes in a couple colors as well. It's very similar to one I shared recently, just a little bit thinner. And again, I don't remember my size, honestly, but I think I did size up to a medium just because I like a little extra room in my loungewear. But this is such a cute little affordable set from Walmart. All right, here is that cute little zip sweatshirt styled with jeans and those winter boots from earlier. Um, so I'm not wearing a sock with them currently and they fit perfectly, but like I said, I would probably wear these with a thick, like cozy winter sock. And for that reason, I would want the next size up. Um, but they're so cute on, I think. And I do get asked about these jeans quite a bit. Um, I don't think this identical pair is available but I will link to the brand page so you can check out their current options. These are very stretchy and comfortable. Um, I wore these a lot in my Nordstrom sale because I was three weeks postpartum and they were the only jeans that really fit comfortably. Um, if you're in between I would definitely size down or actually I would size down in general. I'm wearing a four and they fit amazing. So I love this brand for jeans. I will just link to like their current options down below if you're on the market. But yeah, this cute like little zip sweatshirt could also be worn out of the house as well. All right, next is this wrap cardigan. It's definitely a little bit thicker than probably most cardigans that I own. Like you could totally wear this on its own as a sweater. I do have a black cami underneath that I want to share, but I thought this was perfect for nursing. So if you are looking for nursing friendly options, Definitely check out like a wrap style like this because you could just do a nursing cami underneath and this just like opens up very easily. Um, the material is a very thick knit. I wouldn't say it's itchy. Like it's definitely not itchy, but I wouldn't say it's the softest material either. Um, but it's super cute. I love the tie waist detail to kind of bring in your waistline and it comes in multiple colors. All right, here is the cami I was wearing underneath and I love the fit of this. It has a peplum and it's just like fluttery on the bottom, which I love. And then it has a lace detail. Ignore these thicker straps. That is my nursing bra. Um, I'll link it down below. It's very good quality and it should be on sale relatively soon. Um, and I actually love the fit of this. It's a little bit wider, so it's very flattering, like under the, like around the armpit. It's kind of covering, you know, that nice little fold that women get here. So it is very flattering. I think this comes in multiple colors as well. It's a really great affordable layering piece. And again, I really like the silhouette of the peplum. It's a little bit shorter on the sides. So just a really great kind of everyday layering piece. So here is that tank layered under a faux leather jacket. I got this one forever ago at Walmart, but they still carry it. I just think the white may be out of stock, but I'm sure I can find something similar that I will link for y'all. Same jeans, and then I just paired it with booties. I think these booties are actually on sale currently, and they are very comfortable. Um, they do run true to size as well. This is another super cute sweater from Walmart, and it's actually buttery soft. Very comfortable. Love the v-neck. Love the fit overall. I did size up to a medium just to have a little bit more of a casual fit. I was also hoping it'd be long enough for leggings, but... I think I would stick to this one with jeans, but it has a really cute split hem. And again, this almost feels like chenille, but it's not. It's a very soft knit sweater, and it does come in multiple colors. I'm um, kept on the same bottoms and 
booties as well. I shared this handbag a little bit ago over on my Instagram and I definitely wanted to share it here. It is so cute. It comes in two other prints, I think like a snake print, but I love the white and gold. I actually have this style of bag from a boutique and the Walmart version is way better quality. It actually has a little bit of a weight to it with the chain, whereas the one I got from the boutique is like plastic. <laughs> So it does come with a longer strap if you want to wear it on the shoulder or crossbody. Very, very cute. I love the puffy bag trend for the season. I think I featured the trend in my recent trends video. Um, but yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if this one does sell out. All right, this sweater is one of the best buys at Walmart right now. It's only $15 and they are perfect with leggings. I got this last year in the rust color and it sold out so fast. So they are back in stock. There's one that's a cream color that honestly looks identical to the loft one that I wear all the time. They are perfect with leggings. This has like a dolphin hemline. So I love the flow to it. I'm very comfortable. I am wearing a size medium. The turtleneck is also like very loose and comfortable as well. So I wouldn't be surprised if this is one of the first things to sell out just because they went so quickly last year. Um, but definitely something that I would own like multiple colors in. All right, so if sequins aren't really your thing for the holidays, then this is a gorgeous option. It comes in three colors, I believe, and it has such a beautiful fit. I'm wearing a small, and I still have a nice like A-line shape. This does come up higher on the waist, which I normally am not a fan of, but it still has a great shape to it. And then the bottom is a flowy tiered silhouette. It's very comfortable. Also love the tunic neckline. Lengthwise, it's perfect hitting me mid thigh and it looks perfect with a knee high boot, but you could also pair it with a little fun heel to dress it up. So a few of the Amazon sweaters I've actually had in my wardrobe and they're like my ride or die sweaters that I wear all the time. So I wanted to include them, but I do have a couple of new ones to share too. First is this really pretty sweater. I honestly don't have one with this material. It's structured, but at the same time, stretchy. And I like the detail, so it kind of switches directions. Has a mock neckline. I rolled the sleeve on this side so you can see. I share how to do this like casual roll in that fashion hacks video as well that I mentioned earlier. And that's the sleeve length completely down. And then I paired it with those boots that I talked about earlier that I paired with the midi skirt, just so y'all could see them in better detail. They do zip all the way up on the inside. Um, I did size up a half size in boots like I usually do, but they do run true to size. So I would pair this with a scarf and a coat and be good to go. All right, next is this pink sweater. It does come in multiple colors, and this is from the brand Daily Ritual, which is an Amazon-owned brand. And I think that's one of the best brands to shop, at least fashion brands to shop on Amazon. I have never been disappointed with the quality, whereas most Amazon items, honestly, I send them right back. The Daily Ritual is really great quality for the price point. This sweater has like a little bit of texture to it and I love the paneling along the wrist, the neckline and the hem. This is meant to be like a, a little bit more of a fitted sweater, but I actually sized up to an extra large because I wanted to wear it like cozy with leggings and I wanted that length there. So I am happy with the fit of this one, but it is meant to be like if you get your normal size, it will be more like of a fitted sweater. Paired it here with the same jeans. And then if you're shopping for a boot, like a knee high boot under a hundred, I did want to share these. They are very similar to the Sam Edelman pair that I picked up in the Nordstrom sale that have been sold out. Um, they have a very similar toe shape. They're a little bit lighter in color. And if you're petite, these would also be a really great option because um, you could even slouch them down a little bit more if you needed to. They don't have a zipper, so you do slip them off or on. I didn't have any trouble with these being my normal size, but if you have a very high arch or a wider foot, I would size up a half size in these. Um, they are very comfortable. So Great knee-high boot option under 100. And I do have a recent knee-high boot roundup. I'll also link down below if you're on the hunt. I love this next sweater. It's so unique. 
compared to all like my million sweaters in my collection. I don't have any that look like this. I love the ruffle details. Has the same detail on the neckline and then it kind of buttons down. I like how it just kind of hangs like this. I do think there's an excessive amount of buttons for this little area, but nonetheless, it's still super cute. And I also really like the fit of this too. It hits right at the hips and still has like an extra fabric to kind of fold down really nicely. It is very soft and comfortable, not scratchy whatsoever. This does come in multiple colors and then I kept on the same slouchy boots. All right, this is by far one of my most worn favorite Amazon pieces. I actually own this in three colors. I have light pink and white. This is the color apricot and it's an identical dupe to the Free People sweater. It's a great look for less. The Free People one is better quality and thicker and more structured and warmer, but this one's actually softer and more comfortable in my opinion. And I live in these this time of year. It's very bum friendly. It does stretch, so I've actually like pulled this down and kind of stretched it out and wear it as like a sweater dress, but it does come a little bit shorter when you first get it and you know, when you wash it. Um, but this has washed and worn beautifully. I've had this one for over a year. The pink one I've had even longer and then the white one I picked up this year. Um, I'm wearing a size small. It's very, very comfortable and you cannot go wrong. Um, this is usually a lightning deal every now and then. Maybe for Cyber Week it will be on sale. And I paired it with some faux leather leggings and an over the knee boot. I think these are on sale currently if they are still in stock. All right, this is another sweater. I got this January of 2020, I believe. So I've had this one quite a while and it has held up really well. I do apologize that it's wrinkled. I haven't seen this one since pulling it out from under my bed for the season. But I have two colors in this sweater. It's a very similar material to the last sweater in that it's soft and stretchy, has a roll neck. I love the asymmetrical hemline at the bottom. It's longer in the back, perfect for leggings. I'm wearing a size small. Um, I, the, I bought a different color and bought it a size up and a medium and it's a lot longer than this one. So I would say size up if you want a little bit extra length. But yeah, this is one of my most worn Amazon sweaters as well. Paired it with the same Spanx leggings and then these knee high boots are a little bit dressier. They're gorgeous chocolate brown color. Um, I sized up a half size in these. I have been waiting for this little poncho to go on prime for the longest time. Like I'm pretty sure it's been in my like shopping cart for over a year and it was finally on prime. Um, I loved the color combo. So it's gray and taupe and it is reversible. So you could wear it either way. I just have it styled very comfy with some Lululemon leggings and then this basic tee. These are some of my favorite comfortable like basic tees. They come in multiple colors. I love the dolphin hemline. It is long enough for leggings and they are just silky smooth. And then I also wanted to mention, I'm wearing a strapless bra with this. And if you're on the market, I have been really loving this one. It's very comfortable on my sternum. I have a very bony sternum. I mean, most people do, but mine like protrudes and this one does not bother it. It actually sits below where a lot of strapless bras normally sit. And I think that's why. So I will link that down below. And then these boots are also on sale for Black Friday. They are very comfortable. I think sizes are somewhat limited because they go pretty quickly when they're on sale. But um, yeah, if you have been on the market for a booty, I will link some great options for you down below that I found on sale. All right, I had to try this velvet pink puffer coat. I love this texture for the winter time and it just looks more expensive. I feel like I am wearing a size medium and I do think I need to switch it out for a small, I just feel quite overwhelmed in the medium here. Um, and I have a ton of room. So I would say get your normal size or size down in this, but I love this texture. It feels like it will be very warm. It does come up around the neck as well. If you want to zip it all the way up. Um, and I think they do have multiple colors in this jacket as well. If you are looking to hop on the leather trend for the season and want something more affordable, these are a great find at Walmart. I am wearing a size medium and I think I do need 
the small. I just feel like my butt's getting a little bit lost in this size. Um, but they are very, very comfortable and roomy. I'm 5'5 five five for height reference and they hit me right at the ankle. They're slightly flared at the bottom. Um, I think you could also make these work for a casual like work pant as well. Um, I kept on that same Amazon sweater. I kind of went back and forth between the Walmart and Amazon, but yeah, these are really comfortable like faux leather kind of jogger style pant at Walmart. I do have a couple of really great gift ideas that I wanted to share. I plan to do, if I have time, an Amazon gift guide video, but I want to go ahead and share them here just in case I don't get around to it. Um, the first thing is this clear travel makeup case. This is a great look for less to one I've seen that's like crazy overpriced. It's like $80, but the clear is great to travel with. This, you could put your makeup in, your skincare. And I love this color. It reminds me kind of of the Beast. I don't know if I'm saying that right. I have the luggage. Um, but that line, which I love for travel, this color kind of reminds me of that brand. The next thing is this pink vanity mirror. Y'all know I love my Ricky mirror. But if you're looking for something under 100, this one is really cute. It's a little bit thicker, but it is smaller. They also have a mini version too. But it does light up and you put it on the stand. It's kind of like has its own stand like this and it does light up. And like I said, there is a smaller version as well. This is a really chic white and gold wine opener or an automatic wine opener. And it also comes with the cork opener as well. So if anyone loves wine in their life, you could get this and a bottle of wine that you enjoy. And this makes a really chic piece on the kitchen counter. And then this jewelry box. This is kind of a cream and gold color. I have a white jewelry box that is like twice the size of this one and I always get asked for like a more affordable version and when I saw this I knew it was the perfect option. So the top is clear and I love that that makes it really easy to see what you're looking for and then the bottom drawer makes for extra organization. Um, so I love this type of organizer for my jewelry because it keeps everything safe and away from dust but it's also really easy to find everything if you are shopping for men in your life i have a ton of gift guides in the like to know it app i will link to them down below and you can browse all of my gift recommendations but one that i got from amazon i got this for my dad it's a smart thermometer so it just takes the guessing game out of like when to pull things out of the oven because essentially it accounts for the cooking time after and you just stick it in and use your phone and set it to how you want your um, like fish cooked or whatever you're cooking and it will tell you exactly how to cook it. So actually very excited to give him to this this year. I always struggle with what to get him. So finally found something really good. Um, and yeah, that's a couple of the gift things that I definitely wanted to share with y'all, but I do plan to do like a dedicated Amazon gift guide. So stay tuned for that. That is everything I have to share with you today from Walmart and Amazon. If you haven't yet subscribed, definitely hit the subscribe button. I share these signs here on my channel every single month. And if you're wanting to stay up to date on the best cyber sales, restock alerts, all of that fun stuff, I will be sharing those over on my Instagram stories. My Instagram is strawberrychicxo, and that's where I share things every single day. Lots of gift guides and all that fun stuff. So love to connect with you over on Instagram, but I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I will see you very soon in my next one. Bye.